all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world away. We now got part 80 of Hatchet Part Works Build the Terminator. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's good to be getting back to this. I haven't done this for a while, have I? Um, we're going to be doing some more of the left arm. That's my left arm. My left arm at the moment. Uh, and in this issue, we're going to be doing the tendons, which means we're going to be gluing some springs. Going to need some glue in this. Everyone, I guarantee every time I use glue, people ask where I get my glue from. I get it from the range. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the link to it in the video description so you can get this glue for yourself if you want it. It's only available for the peeps in the UK though, but uh, that's where you get the glue from. Uh, but let's show you what we've got to do. As you can see, we've got all the springs here. Look, everything is in the pack here. Uh, we're going to be doing the tendons and the springs, and we're also going to be fitting one of the fingers that we hadn't fitted last time, which looks just like this. Uh, and in the next issue, as you can see, looks like we're building another finger. We've got a few more tendon parts there as well. So uh, this is gonna be fun. We have done this once before, but uh, you know, different arm this time. So not so bad as uh, doing four X-wings, I have to say, but <laughs> without further ado, let's get cracking. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting all of these springs just into the four grooves that you can see there. They're actually gonna go in like that and each spring needs some glue in it. Now, when we put glue in here, I'm actually gonna apply this with my um, little stick. I'm actually just gonna use it direct from here, and I'm gonna put glue in every single channel here in one go, just like that. Because believe me, it's the actual cleanest way to do it, is to put all of these things in at the same time. So, That's one, two, three, and last but not least, number four, and then just hold them into place. Simple as that, it's looking like that. Probably gluing my fingers to these springs as well, but uh, at least they're in, they're not gonna be falling out of there. So I'm just gonna let that dry and then we'll get on to the next stage. Now they're held in like that, but to actually hold them in completely, we're gonna be using the forearm shaft like this. This uh, edges of these here are just gonna go into the grooves that you can see on the side there. And that's gonna hold those springs in completely, just like that. So the springs, as you can see, or the tendons, as you wanna call them, are just coming out the side there. And uh, we do need to hold that into place. So we've got a screw to put in here. And that is one of these two times four mil screws. Now there's two lots of screws in this one. We just want the little tiny ones there. So I've got my screwdriver and once I've screwed this in, those springs aren't going anywhere. So as you can see, we've got a hole down there. Put this in, make that nice and tight. Excellent. The next part, we're going to fix it to this joint here. Now, if you have a look at this joint, we have got a little notch at the top. So that's going to enable you to figure out which area this goes in, because that notch is going to match the notch that you just see on that. So this is just going to go in just like that. This is going to be screwed in on the other side here with a 3 times 12 mil screw. Probably the easiest way is to get the screw all the way through first, start to screw it into that section. So that's going to line that up, then seat it, and then put the screw in all the way i was all fingers then until i figured that out <laughs> i should have remembered this for when we did the right hand but make sure that's nice and tight we have got some spare screws there as you can see and there we go that's the tendon section completed which leaves all we have to do then is take the finger that we did last time looking like that what we're looking for is a square section just there which is actually the knuckle of the finger now that's got to match uh, exactly what we did with the index finger here. So the knuckle's gonna be facing up. So this is gonna be going in there just like that. So you've got the two knuckles facing up. So to do that, all we're gonna do is take the sleeve here. We're gonna push that all the way through the first part here. All the way through. Get the finger, put that underneath. So it goes through both sections like that. Then we've got the pin, which looks just like that. It's longer than the normal ones we use. And we're gonna push that in through the top there. Make sure that goes all the way through. 
you can give it some force but again remember this is plastic so you don't want to be bending any of these off otherwise they're going to snap off so make sure that you provide enough force just on that section without putting any strain on this section here uh, but that's all the way through and then all we've got to do just touch a tiny bit of glue into the hole in the center there just like that and then we finish that off with the pin here just like that now push that in make sure that's in completely that is absolutely perfect and there we go that's those fingers in place i'm just going to style them a little bit better that looks pretty cool actually a bit like a claw there <laughs> and that's the palm or two fingers done and the palm of the left hand and what with the tendon that's all there is to do in that stage quite a pun really but that was all fingers that one quite fiddly i thought that was uh, going to be an easy one but a uh, bit fiddly but uh, it's a good way to end the week i reckon we're going to be having another video out on monday probably going to go back to the bismarck on monday because we uh, i want to i want to get cracking on the electrics which are coming soon um but i have got my kiddies coming this weekend so uh, the videos will be out uh, i don't know if there's going to be a video out every day next week though because of that i've got them for the whole week uh, and remember next thursday we've got the live stream where my daughter's going to be putting some special Special effects makeup on my uh, my arm and to be honest with you if you want to see some of the things she's capable of I put the link to her Instagram down here check out some of the things that she's done here it's also in the video description and uh, you can see some of the scary things that she's actually done but I really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care